anyone remember how big it was to get ODSTs and Mega Bloks before we had a handful of molds in UNSE ranks? I remember calling the pilots ODSTs in denial. When we actually got them, ODSTs not only broke the streak, but at the time, no ODST was the same in different sets. It wasn't even hard to get them. They started as a Toys R Us exclusive line, but if you could get there, the cheapest way to snag the molds was through the drop pods. How nostalgic were these? I even recall being the first one to find the Arctic Sniper. Later on with the new articulation, new armor, and gear given to the ODSTs, Drop Pods returned with a new gimmick. In this, we're going to take a look at an example. This is 2018's Operation Veritas Drop Pod. That was not intentional. In the package, it looked pre-built for the most part, but it was a prank. Almost the entire thing had to be constructed from the ground up. No big deal, it's not complicated, that is, unless the bottom base keeps slipping out. Operation Viridis was the third using the new construction system, featuring a uniquely painted drop pod and specialized ODST in matching blue and orange. Compared to the original, it seems more rounded off. Gee, do I miss the side doors. How am I supposed to fit my fingers in there? The set comes with the black base plate and the modern redesign for the classic assault rifle, featuring a <laughs> To fit the color theme, there's a good amount of orange that draws my attention. Looks more appropriate than the pizza one. The mold for the ODST seems pretty basic in the new articulation style for the majority until you notice the piece connected to the helmet. Doesn't fold down or detach, which would be cool for an update. Until then, it's like someone glued it to his forehead. But he doesn't need all those updates and equipment to stand out. Black undersuit, silver armor, and the blue visor seems pretty standard, but in addition, his armor includes a metallic cobalt color and orange paint surrounding the symbol in his chest. The pod is itself also features similar colors, mostly dark gray with silver, cobalt, and orange touches. The window is transparent and the bottom features orange and yellow to imply the set is already burning upon entry. Just like the drop pods before, the entire air brake system spins freely, but with the unsteady motion, it's a wobbly brief spin. You can retract the whole thing without replacing the post. Line the blue section across, pull it down, peg it in, and fold down the flaps. Not the most subtle, but at least you don't need a shorter cheater peg. I like the design on these very specialized parts. There's more construction than you would expect. And yet, even with prices going up, they managed to price this in line with the old sets. Just keep an eye for the struts, they can slip out. No backpack? Just take these off, plug them on the back, and I'm fine with that. There's also another gimmick. You can intentionally smash this without worrying about breaking the clear plastic. The base is molded with a tab that pushes out the front door, so when you slam it hard enough, the door comes flying off. Who needs a stress ball? Only thing to note, if you don't hit it hard enough, it'll just shift forward. Once that happens, it's already out of the way, so you'll have to manually remove it or push it back. Inside you'll see a seat molded like the old style, and multiple holes to attach weapons that, with the arms in the way, is completely useless. I did find you can add the rifle to the door instead, and it should work, or just throw everything in without plugging it. The figure plugs into a peg, and if it goes far enough, it's hard to pull out. Thankfully, they seem to be on the same page. You can split the entire pod to get a good grip of the figure. My advice, just lightly plug the figure in. You can plug stuff on the back or on the bottom, which you might need to do because the base is rounded off. One little tap of a warthog will take it down. If you do add a base and don't want the door to pop off, either remove it for the sake of plugging it in, or hold the door as you attach a base. I like the colors on this. It's probably one of my favorites of the new build. It's bright, vibrant, but because it's an accent color, it doesn't overtake the set or make it too flashy. The ODST is a pretty good recolor too. He doesn't need that much equipment to stand out. The cobalt and orange complement the mold pretty well. I'd say get it if you can find it. Halo fans cringe.